born in the 80s, so it wasn't street art, it was graffiti. I can remember as a sort of 10, 12 year old discovering the first piece that arrived in the city, um, you know, wizard in an underpass and everyone in school was super excited and recreating it on their exercise books and that led to us hitting the library and finding subway art and uh, the kind of graffiti scene. I suppose I, uh, rather than sort of sticking with it, I grew away from that as I grew up and uh, kind of hit the street art scene a little bit later on and realised that uh, actually what I was experiencing and witnessing and part of back in those kind of early 80s um, has direct connections as to what I do as a street artist. It's been four years since my last London show, so when Nellie Duff asked me, and Nellie Duff is just such an established historical gallery within the sort of street art world, um, it was the sort of perfect opportunity to um, to pull together this idea that I had with the cans uh, and put on a London show. The exhibition is called Cry Long. It's it's a simple wordplay on the, the brand of the spray paint that I'm using to paint on, which are Cry Long cans. And these things, they're just beautiful. They're beautiful in the way that they look, but they hark back to that goal golden age I think of, of graffiti and they're just you know they're real icons of a time of graffiti back then and, and how it was when it was used we use much better quality paint nowadays but there's something really special about holding a can that was around 40 years ago that was part of the history of what started the sort of graffiti and street art movement the colours um, of the cans really inspired what I was going to paint on them. I looked at the uh, the title that came with the uh, the colour of, and then I'd see if I could try and inspire myself to to use, for example, that one of the colours is hunter green, and it's like, okay, how can I use that green to start to incorporate that in the eye colour? Things that happen on the face, the silver can that I used, it's got this beautiful silver filigree masquerade um, mask. So it was trying to link in some way, rather than just randomly pick up a can and paint a face on it, trying to link and tell an extra story, I suppose, to the can and the face that comes with it. With the subway art and um, the photography that went into that, we studied that as kids, you know, not just the letter form and, and the artwork that was going on, but the photographs that were taken by kind of the now legendary Martha Cooper. Um, and so working for this exhibition, um, I wanted to kind of hop back and reference those those photographs that inspired such a generation of writers. So we are looking at Martha Cooper's photographs of the B-boys and the graffiti artists that were in, in that book. Working with Nelly Dust Printers has been a really great way for me to see processes that I've not been used to before. Adding a gloss varnish onto the white of the eye makes, makes the whole thing stand out and those metal prints, just something I've always wanted to do and never had the chance until now. I'm not a graffiti writer, but I completely respect what they do and I remember the excitement of those days when I was seeing it back in the 1980s. I moved away and those writers are still there and they're still pushing hard and they're still creating amazing work and this is my way to, to nod back to that piece that I saw when I was a school kid and to, you know, to nod to those writers that are still out there producing work now. I'm always humbled to have um, anybody come along to see my work, but uh, to have the response we've had tonight has been incredible and uh, hats off to Nelly Duff for uh, helping to make it happen. I'm three artists really. I'm a gallery painter who sells work via the galleries. I get commissioned to paint murals, but in my heart I'm a street artist and that's where the excitement and the inspiration for a lot of those other two things comes from. Working in abandoned buildings, producing paste ups and working out on the street are the thing that really excites me and keeps me alive and that's what drives everything forwards as an artist. Mm -hmm.